Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot is here with a new pick a card and today we're doing a topic what you need to hear right now. We have three piles, well we have three decks today. First option is Mucha Tarot, second option is the Light Seers Tarot and the third pile is the Field Tarot. So choose your pile, choose your deck. And I will see you in timestamps. You can find them down below in the description box under the video, together with my contacts for those who need a personal reading with me. So we're starting with option number one. What you need to hear right now. Um, currently you are going through, I'm getting like you have a strife, some kind of battle in regards to your love life, in regards to love in general, possibly maybe some family aspects, but mostly about romantic love and you have been stuck um, in a very painful situation for some of you, a painful cycle, maybe on and off relationship or deciding to get a divorce and then uh, reconciliating and again and again to and fro to and fro so and it was very painful but it's coming to an end yeah totally it's coming to an end soon you will find a way how to deal with this situation how to turn it around for your benefit if you have um, some financial problems financial crisis situation connected to this um, possibly separation or your emotional um, state due to this situation you're going to overcome it you will be able to find a way to put an end to the toxicity to put an end to the strife the competition the pain here and um, move on with some resources but it seems like you may use you may have to use the means that you don't want to use the fourth two came out so it's like in order for you to put an end to this situation you really need to stand up for yourself you really need to fight for yourself you really need to invest all of you all you got into this in order for you to be able to move on from it because uh like you need more information or maybe you need more experience or like mm, you need to do everything possible to get in control of the situation because your emotions are failing you here your emotions are mm, maybe the reason why you cannot deal with it why you cannot move on from it why you cannot find a way out from it because your emotions are making you uh not see clearly like they're blurring your vision and they're making you unreasonable kind of unreasonable because there's something like with the queen of cups here and the seven of swords you don't want to see the reality you are kind of like oh, i'm not gonna look there or I'm not going to accept this. But the message is you need to take charge. You need to take responsibility. You need to use all you got in order to stand up for yourself. Because currently your resources and your energy are tied up in this situation. And the universe is saying it's time for you to really get out of this and uh, find a way to enjoy life again because there are ways to enjoy life again because the longer you stay here in this situation the longer you are being drained the less and less energy you have to to change things to shift things because currently you are stuck in a vicious cycle definitely and you are stuck there you not gonna like hearing it but it's your choice to be stuck there you're choosing to be stuck there and um you're saying, well, 
it's been always like this or it's been a long time you you are focusing on the value this connection this reality have and this this relationship maybe has for you um but this is uh pixie says hi pixie says hi my princess is not very happy today yeah somebody has been acting out acting out but this is you see with the high priestess and the star here the value you are adding to this situation is mostly your fantasy is mostly an illusion if you look at this situation realistic from the position of the truth the objective reality you will see a different outcome you will see a way out you will see a possibility of outcome here a positive outcome for you because currently you are kind of you're losing if you're staying and you're losing if you're going but there is a way out um in which you are winning and you will find it if you are capable of Kind of calming your emotions down yeah this is like your emotions they're creating this inner battle and if you are capable of calming yourself down grounding yourself you will be able to find to see a way out because this it seems like there is an important lesson for you here yeah you totally have the right to stand up for yourself and you totally have the means to stand up for yourself you just don't want to use them but in this situation you may have to use them in order to not lose in this war in order to change the situation and uh, change it into your uh, change it to your benefit you can you only have to choose it you only have to choose yourself it seems like it's a lesson for you a big lesson for you yeah of self-worth of choosing yourself of giving yourself the right to protect yourself this is what i'm getting here totally again you you have the right to protect yourself you have the value you are valuable enough for you but you have to choose it okay this is what i have for you today pile number one please let me know what you think about this reading and we are moving to pile number two sorry the phone that i have been using before that can pause the video is dead now so I cannot pause it anymore <laughs> so that's why we're doing it a bit differently so pile number two those who chose the light seers deck let's see so what you need to hear right now interesting it's like you are it, the first message i'm getting here that you are fighting uh the higher powers currently you are fighting the universe the universe is giving you um like trying to show you the way like you you have a talent you can work on or you you do have a gift you have some kind of gift from the universe it has been given to you at birth it seems like and you can totally use it for your benefit but you're like mm -mm -mm, i'm not gonna go there so you're kind of fighting the universe when the universe is trying to give you a big gift or trying to show you see there is a gift for you you just gotta kind of take it unwrap it and use it and you're like mm -mm, no 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 yeah and you are denying the abundance that universe is offering you your mind is saying like no it's impossible no uh, it's like for example if you're a creative person you're saying you're trying to devalue yourself no i'm not special i'm not good enough um i haven't got enough training um somebody told me i will never make it this way so it's like that there is some limiting beliefs that you need to overcome and they are in your mind they are in your mentality they are in your energy and uh, the universe is saying like i have given you a gift just take it and use it and you're like mm, no maybe next life right yeah it's like you're like mm, i'm gonna think on it i'm gonna wait 
for something yeah totally like you do have a gift and you're like mm, maybe yeah maybe no well my friends do like what i'm doing but it's not serious i'm not that talented maybe like when i'm older maybe when i have the stability maybe maybe later maybe maybe then maybe tomorrow maybe after tomorrow maybe in the next life and the universe is like mm, well kind of mm, it's time to stop stop denying your gifts stop time to stop fighting yourself because you're only creating more uh more instability more inner conflict and you are not getting the how to say the adoration that you deserve Because there are people who are waiting for your gift to bloom in this life. They are waiting for you to show your gift. They are waiting for you to open your gift to the universe. Because when we have some gifts, they are for us like to serve other people. And there are people who, are, who require your gift in this world. But you're like, mm, maybe I'm not good enough. Well, it's not for you to decide. It's not for you to decide. It's for them to decide. So um, the message is kind of stop denying the abundance the abundance and the gift that you have um, from the universe you need to start working on this gift you need to start helping it grow and you need to start bringing it to people so people could see it and but currently your inner conflict and disbelief and uh, limiting beliefs they are not allowing you to bloom but you were born for it you were born to shine file number two and it's like the universe your spirit guys they're saying like we're ready to celebrate with you we're ready to celebrate with you but just why 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 don't you make the step why don't you make the step why don't you embrace your creativity why don't you embrace your talent whatever this talent is about uh embrace it and then you're gonna win and we're gonna cheer for you we're gonna celebrate with you Time to wake up, guys. Time to see your talent. Time to put it to a good use. Pile number two. This is my message for you today. Well, not my message. I'm just translating this message for you. This message is being delivered through me. So please let me know what you think about it. I do love reading your comments and I do read all of them. And we are moving to pile number two three now to those who has chose the field tarot let's see so pile number three what you need to hear right now you have a lot of worries about your financial situation about your money and it seems like you do your energy is being locked for some of you from the inside for others from the outside between you and maybe the people who need your services mm -hmm. and you're trying to change the situation you're trying to make things go and you're trying to push maybe yourself or your life or your financial situation forward because you're like like i gotta change it for my future but either you are trying to run to things at the same time to projects to businesses to ventures or um, you don't see the opportunity to to improve your situation currently because your energy is locked in this area just let me see a bit more you know, your financial situation is kind of stuck limited and you don't know where to go what to do how to free yourself Mm-hmm. Just give me a sec. You got vision and perspective and the same thing. So currently you do have I'm getting 
that you do have a lot of worries that in the near future or maybe a bit further on you may not have enough money to live on right you may not have enough money or you if you do not improve your situation right now you may be in a dire position so there is a lot of worries but the universe again the the page of cups together with the fool and the three of ones together with perspective is saying like you will see that a new idea or a new prospect new angle of of the situation is going to be presented to you soon you will be able to see past this 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 the fears the strife uh the financial problems some of you are thinking that you need to change your job or your career but you don't see but you don't see the way out you don't see how to do that because there's something that you really want to be doing but you don't you cannot find a way how to make it happen so what you need to hear because we're seeing a lot of your worries your anxiety in regards to your finan finances and, and something that you want to be doing and something that you should be doing right In the near future, you, um, how to put it, there will be sudden changes coming to you, um, but not through you. Sudden changes in your financial situation. So I feel like you need to calm down about it because currently with the Four of Cups and the Temperance here, so do not put too much energy into this situation try to focus on mm, filling your energy up filling yourself up getting maybe new informations new ideas being in in an open mind and open energy um situation and also being kind of well focus on things that are giving you energy so your task currently is to uplift your energy is to improve your energy is to kind of fill yourself up with energy but the universe is going to deliver you a change it's going to be sudden it's going to be unexpected And another person, it's like you need to shift your energy from worrying to finding this inner stability. And when you have it, kind of most likely another person is going to give you an idea or push or a way out, going to show you a way out. Uh, and it's going to happen rather soon. Well, within this year, you may um, either go traveling or exploring new new opportunities. Uh, for some of you, maybe a new career. Like, for example, you can um, quit your job and start your own thing, your own business, your own venture. Or maybe um, try uh, exploring something that really makes you happy, something that really speaks to your heart. So... Uh, yeah, you will be able to find a way how to start making a living, it, not just su surviving limit, but making a good living with something that you shine with, something uh, that you love, something that is your main thing, main talent. You uh, So currently focus not on active action yeah if I, not of act not on action but focus on your energy on becoming whole and filled with energy and the opportunity is going to present itself very soon and you will be facing kind of you will find yourself doing what you truly love doing what you were born doing and um being really great at it so an opportunity to to do what you love doing and make a living with it is coming 
I'm not saying be completely inactive, but working on your energy is also work. But you shouldn't be kind of running around actively searching for this opportunity. But you need to um, make yourself ready for this opportunity. And so that's why it's so important to work on your energy. So when the opportunity presents itself, you're ready. You're ready. Yeah, and because the opportunity is kind of predestined. So it's going to come to you. But you need to, just to be ready to take it. Ready to take it. Okay. This is what I have for you today, pile number three. Please let me know what you think about this reading and I do hope to talk to you soon. Bye.